Gillia Lilla. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my June TBR for 2023. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month, and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with why she chose the books that she does. This month's theme is things that she has called me before, so... Without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose is Delicious Monsters. This is by Lizelle Sambury. And this is because she calls me Monster all the time. This one has actually been on my TBR since February. I think it sounds really interesting. It follows a girl in the past named Daisy who moves to a secluded mansion with her mom after she inherits it. And mysterious things start happening. Daisy also has the ability to see dead people, so that is is intriguing. And then it also takes place 10 years later and follows a girl named Brittany who is trying to escape her abusive mother. And she also writes online and she is trying to discover what happened to Daisy 10 years ago. It basically follows those two timelines at the same time. I think it sounds interesting. I actually have it on audiobook so I will be getting to it very soon because it just came in so I was actually very happy when she chose this one. Next up she chose The Savage Instinct by M.M. DeLuca and she chose this because she says that my sarcasm and wittiness is savage. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll take it as a compliment. But this one is another one that has been on my TBR for far too long. It basically follows a woman who is just released from an assail asylum that her husband, Henry, put her in because he thought that she was crazy. At the time she is released, the first ever female serial killer is in the news and she basically starts idolizing this serial killer and she starts getting thoughts about murdering her husband. So I think it sounds good. Next she chose Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Apparently she thinks I'm devious. I did not know this, but we're discovering new things about my mother. This one is another one on my TBR, far too long. Everybody loves this series. I feel like I am so far behind on that bandwagon, so I'm hoping to finally pick it up. All I really know is that it's a thriller and people like it, so I don't want to know anything else because I want to go into it blind because I think thrillers are way better when you go into them blind, but this is another one that I have been waiting for this audiobook for like 6,000 years on my library, so hopefully it comes in soon. If not, I guess we'll just read it. Physically. Next is A Peculiar Peril, and this is by Jeff Vandermeer. She does call me peculiar a lot, but I do agree with that one. I'm pretty weird. This one says that it is a head-spinning epic about three friends on a quest to protect the world from a threat as unknowable as it is terrifying. She's a chonker though, so I don't know if I'm going to get to this this month because I am working a lot. There's only three more weeks of school left and then I start my full-time job. I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna get to this. I do have it on audiobook right now. I think I'm like second in line, so maybe if it comes in, then I'll read it. Next she chose Odd Child Out by Gilly McMillan. This is another one that has been on 6,000 of my TBRs and I have yet to read it. This is because she calls me odd all the time. Again, completely agree with that one. This is a crime thriller. It follows two best friends. One of them goes missing and then the other one seems to know a lot more than they're leading on. It apparently also deals a lot with racism, so we'll see how that pans out. And then she chose A Pretty Little Wife by Darby Kane, and I think this one was just because she was trying to be nice after calling me all those other things. So she thinks I'm pretty, so thank you mommy. Love you so much. This is another thriller. It follows a woman whose husband goes missing and people start pointing fingers at her because she was the last one to see his body. We're gonna see if the wife did it. And then the final book she chose was just kind of like a bonus one because we went to Cirque du Soleil last Saturday. So I guess she had the circus on her mind, but it is Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. It follows the circus and one of the performers named Nell who was sold to the circus at a very young age. She was devastated when it first happened. Now she is one of the star performers and she has a coveted role in the circus but then the ring leader master starts getting jealous of her growing fame and things go down maybe he's gonna plot her death we'll see all right everybody so those were the books that my mom chose for my tbr for the month of june 2023 let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and i will see you all in my next video goodbye